You've been at Glasgow Warriors for around four years now. You signed yep. a new contract at the start of the year. You must be enjoying yourself at the Warriors. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I just think the type of rugby that we play is very similar to how I played at school, to how I see rugby should be able to play. You know, it shouldn't necessarily be a very slow, forwards dominated game. You know, I like to run with the ball. I, I like to move around the pitch, and that's exactly how we try and play rugby. We try and entertain, not just the crowd, but we try and entertain ourselves and have fun. Um, and the club as well, I, I keep telling everyone around here it's like being back at school. Um, you're with 30, 40 of your, of your mates every single day for 8, 10 hours a day. You go away on trips at the weekend together. You spend a lot of time in close proximity. So, yeah, it's, it's a brilliant club to be at. Uh, how important was Markson for your rugby development? It was huge. Um, simply, it was huge. Uh, probably outside of my, my parents and my family, it, it was the single biggest, biggest factor to why I am where I am just now. Um, whether it's through the coaching I got, obviously, you know, you have brilliant coaches there. I know Rob's just retired, Rob Moffat. Um, we used to got Roddy in charge. Uh, when I was there, you had Mark Appleson, uh, Charles Swan. Um, before me, there was Frank Haddon. You know, the level of coaching that you get at the school is top quality. Um, but not just that, the, the other guys that you're playing with, the other boys at the school, their skill levels, their abilities is also top quality and brilliant. So that helped me develop and express myself when I was at school. And, and um, I probably, I was a good player um, at school, but I, I wasn't brilliant probably until my last couple of years at school and I really started to develop, develop physically. Um, but just the attention to detail, the skill set, uh, I don't know if it's still the case, but <laughs> up until I think it was fifth form, we weren't allowed to kick the ball unless you're five metres from your own line. So it sounds silly, but that just having that in there allows everyone, whether you're a prop, you're a fullback, you're a second row, everyone must be comfortable on the ball. Everyone has to problem solve and get themselves out of situations. So um, the school was huge. I, you know, I can't ex express how, how important it was for, for getting me where I am now. It's, it's brilliant psychologically from a morale point of view that you can come in um, to training or to school every day and, and be in sort of world class facilities, whether it's in the gym, out on the pitch. Obviously, I know there's a new 3G getting built, so um, just having those facilities on your doorstep and being able to train no matter what the weather conditions are like on really good surfaces, being able to go inside and, and take your training indoors if the weather's not good outside, having that is a massive boost um, to just making guys enjoy their sport. Um, particularly at school where sometimes it can be a little bit difficult um, maybe if you're not the, you know, the most gifted sportsman but you still really enjoy being a part of it having those facilities, having places for guys to go and be able to, to express themselves and play their sport is a huge, huge deal um, and it's a huge factor for why guys at school play sport. It's a, a brilliant thing for the school to be investing in its new strength and conditioning suite um, it's not something that was necessarily a huge part of my life when I was at school um, or even when I left school it wasn't until I joined sort of the the old Scottish Academy that it was that strength and conditioning became a more integral part of the game that it is now um, but I think the way you see the game develops now and you know the physicality of, of the young boys coming through and the pace and the speed of the game that it's very important to have guys when they're 14, 15, 16, not lifting big weights, not doing that, but being very technical in their movements, learning how their body works, learning which ways they can strengthen their body and make it more rugby specific. Um, injury prevention, but just for later on in life when they come into these environments that they're already ready to go rather than having to start from the beginning.